All right, so today is June 13th. Um, I'm gonna be out shooting my bow again today. And today I wanted to go over shooting from long distances to make shorter shots seem a little easier. Now last week I talked about shooting at low light because inevitably a lot of your shots are gonna happen in low light conditions. Well, another thing I like to do is whatever your comfortable range is or whatever you think your average shot's gonna be on a deer. So say you think 20, 30, 15. So we'll take for instance this here. I hope most shots I have are within 20 yards. What I'm gonna do tonight is probably practice at 50 or 60, which isn't that far, but the point's still gonna hold because if I practice 50, 60 yards and I might step back to 70, then when you come in for a 20 yard shot, it's gonna seem like, oh, that's nothing. So there's lots of things you can be doing to be kind of thinking towards fall and not just out flinging arrows. So I'm gonna do a little practice here and um, I encourage you to be doing the same thing. point of this video isn't to show you shoot my bow or to try to look cool the whole point of this is try to get a point across and that's put yourself in positions that will ultimately help you actually during whitetail season don't just walk out shoot your bow nonchalantly call it good and head back inside so I talked about last week with shooting in low light conditions because you know you're ultimately probably gonna be shooting a deer in low light conditions taking practice from long ranges because once you get into a stand and you have a deer at 20 yards and you've been practicing all summer at 60, 70, 80. Shoot, I know guys that practice at 100. Doesn't mean you're ever gonna shoot a deer at 100. But when you're practicing at those long distances and then you have a deer walk in at 20, 30 yards, it's like a chip shot. All the practice you put in in the summer at those long ranges will hopefully make a difference.